Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. arrests in the case of the murder of Rachel King. Sound like something out, well, a, a really bad novel or something, but it's the truth, it's reality. The Montgomery County District Attorney announcing two people are now charged with her murder. It appears um, that it was um, a conspiracy. It was um, a murder for hire. Um, it is a horrific killing of an innocent, young teacher in front of her 11 year old son she was an innocent and uh we're going to do everything we can in this case to, to to seek justice for her for her family for her son um and for the community that was affected uh, by this in, in in so many ways so many ways so we have rachel king's brother alan who's joining us um because what news yesterday learning all the details that um, what they say happened. What was your reaction to hearing from the DA Kevin Steele about what they believe happened to your sister? I, I couldn't believe it, honestly. I'm, it's one of the weird scenarios you thought about, but just uh, there was a disbelief in that somebody would go this far, like <clears throat> for a failed relationship. It's like, get over it. Did you know any of this was going on between these people? No. They did not even a hint of it? No. Mm -hmm. um, Rachel dated a friend of mine, and uh, we, we went to college together. So I knew him, and when he first started dating, I told him, you know, you hurt my sister, it's going to be an issue. Right. And um, I think that's why she didn't tell me about this Oh. prior. Because you would have done something mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about Rachel. What, what was she like? Just a bright, bright spot. Mm -hmm. Just. If I had a bad day, I'd call her. She didn't need to know why I had a bad day. I'd just call her, talk on her phone. And she would just talk, because that's what she did. She talked a lot, a lot and loud. And um, it'd be 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. It just was a better day after talking to her. And I sat there on Monday, and I realized that I didn't have her to call. Oh. I was having a bad day. Yeah. And you'll never have her to call again. Yeah. I, people keep saying she's a good, good teacher. Oh, amazing teacher. Um, so I'm one of five. Um, we are very blessed to be intelligent. Uh, our older sister never got B. Skipped the grade, never got B. Rachel was very smart, but worked the hardest out of all of us. Interesting. Um, which made her a great teacher because she had to learn everything um, differently than we did. You know, we might have picked things up. She actually studied, did homework, and all those fun things. Um, so she just was a great teacher and a great, had a great way of explaining things. I had patience, and the patience part is the thing that, you know, for me, for Jalen, it's just it's hard. And you bring up Jalen, her mm -hmm. son, her 11 year old. How has he been handling all this and how is he doing? Um, you know, uh, as we expected, I guess, something like this. Um, I hadn't really talked about it much. Uh, you know, we have him in therapy, um, seeing a, a trauma counselor, a, a child psychiatrist, um, you know, but everyone in our family's world has been rocked. So Jalen included, obviously, he was there, but, you know, it's just 
there is no normal. There is nothing to hold on to. That, that by the way, if, if you haven't been following this story, the, the reason why he's going to need therapy was he in the back seat of the car or the front seat? Or he was in the back seat. His back seat of the car when his mother was shot mm -hmm. through the Point driver's blank. window, driver's side window. Point blank, yeah. Yeah. He was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made calls from the car. That's how we found out, because Jalen called. He's the one who called. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. And just hearing the details, um, the murder for hire and the planning and the fact that they followed her for a few days, like, how does that make you feel to hear that this was planned and the fact um, that both of the suspects were there, even, you know, even though she hired this person? It it makes me feel like I, I truly, sincerely hope that our governor signs off on the death penalty. There was no, they had multiple opportunities to turn around to not do this. They knew exactly that my nephew was in that car. They made a very clear choice. That's it monstrous. That's evil stuff. I don't know how anyone does that. Uh -uh. And I don't know if the, the young lady's a mother or not, but she's a daughter. I'm sure she has family members. Right. And you just don't take a mother away from their child. like over a, a, a relationship, over a guy. It's a million men in this city. Yeah. Why? So, um, the funeral's already happened? The funeral was Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is your family handling all this? Uh, it's just, it's tough. Um, I joked with my sister about doing my eulogy, and, uh, we never talked about doing hers. It was never a thought that... Mm -hmm. This was never, I run scenarios all day long. I've never thought that I wouldn't, like, this is just. No. No. Like. You can't wrap your head around. She was in the suburbs. What happened? Like, in a safe car, safe neighborhood. Right. So this, this stuff didn't happen. And it just, it's, it's insane to me. That's yeah. absolutely insane. Um, super thankful to the Shelham Police Department, um, Montgomery County detectives. Uh, um, they, they did a good, fairly swift job mm -hmm. on this. And, it, yeah. I mean, it helps. I mean, I, we've had armed security because we, no one knew why or what. And right. My nephew is my greatest, you know. Right. Do you well, think that finding out and having more details about what happened, do you think that's helped you to mm -hmm. have closure? Or? I won't have closure until justice has truly been served. And justice for you is to have those two people dead. Yeah. Just in the state of Pennsylvania, that's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, please keep us updated uh, on you, but especially Jalen. You know, when does he turn 12? Is it soon? Or? Uh, he turns 12 in October. October. So, okay. yeah. Um, All right, Alan. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you for being here, and thank you for helping us to remember your sister and her life and how she was so loved in mm -hmm. the community, by her school, by her loved ones. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.